This is the cosmos as we know it. Your planet, the Earth, third from your sun. And past Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus and Pluto. And beyond that, far, far off. No, no further. Farther. Wait, wait, wait. There. At the very edge of the galaxy is our world. The tiny planet known as Spengo. For many decades, I was the king of this planet. Our people were happy and their lives were good. But also, alas, we were a planet of idiots. Then, one day, the most evil, bloodthirsty, fearsome villain our planet had ever seen seized power, imprisoned me, and renamed the planet after himself. His name? Todd Spengo. All right, help me up. Hurry up, all right, let go! Well, all right, so he's not exactly fearsome. But he certainly caught us by surprise. General Appear, how much longer? The death ray is ready, Great One. Excellent. Did I mention we were a planet of idiots? <laughs> Open the dome! Spengo had put all of our resources into the creation of one weapon, the mighty death ray laser. Its purpose, the destruction of Earth. Earth, you think you're so big, so important. Well, soon you'll be nothing more than space dust. And my planet will be the grandest in the universe. <laughs> Sire, so we've calculated the planet's most vulnerable spot. A place the Earthlings call Woodland Hills, California. Hmm. Woodland Hills. Show me this Woodland Hills. Show me the exact spot my all-powerful death ray will strike. As you wish, sire. Wait! Wait, stop! Oh, my God. This is the most beautiful creature in the universe. Look at those legs. And those curves. And the way she moves. Oh! Oh, stop! Stop those torturing me with those lusty gyrations! Oh, goddess of desire! I fear. I must have this woman. But, sire, our planet is about to be destroyed. So we'll wait a day. Bring me this woman, we'll destroy Earth tomorrow. Yes, sire. General. Sire. What do you think of me? You're great and all-powerful, Lord Todd. Tomorrow, my love. Tomorrow, you will be mine. Both my planet and yours were in grave peril. That is, until the fateful intervention of the two wisest, bravest, most noble heroes the universe has ever known. Oh, that's your dad and me on the square, and, and it's not... Oh, yeah, just before they lost our bags. Oh, no, I tried to get him to go into the water, bud. Uh, uh, no, no, jellyfish, sharks, sawfish, who knows what they got down there. Oh. The burrow trip. That really killed my back. Now that's my kind of place. No Ooh. bugs, no crazy food. Dick. Oh, that's it. <laughs> my trip to Mexico. <laughs> Your mother wanted to show him. I, I, I told her you'd be bored. No. No. No, no. We really enjoyed it. Good. God, Mom, I can't believe you and Dad have been married 20 years. So, uh, how are you guys getting along? Oh, fine. Fine. You know, your dad, he just um, gets a little down sometimes. Is it his back again? And his stomach and his neck and work, of course. Poor Pop. Well, it's nothing to worry about. I, I think this little trip to Santa Barbara is really going to cheer him up. You talking Carl's ear off, Dad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here. Uh -huh. Have some pie. Thank you. I can't eat this. It's too rich. Marge, I can't eat this. Oh, just a tiny bite. 
Now, Shalty. No! Here. Next door. I thought your stomach hurt from the pie. Um. You and Mrs. Nelson bringing? Well, Carl, this one's mine. And the rest of this stuff is my wife's. She packs the closet, she packs the entire house, she just packs everything. <laughs> Big weekend of romance, huh, Dad? Well, uh, I don't know. It was your mother's idea? Alan, my back is killing me. Would you just give me a hand here? Al. Al. Alan. I've got the coffee machine, honey. Huh? Mom, most hotels have coffee machines. Oh, uh, this one's better. I got it at the luggage store. Hey, here. Uh, what's in the bag? Huh? Oh, this? Oh, just some granola bars and some grapes and some raisins and some apple juice for the trip. Well, goodbye, honey. Oh, now you take care. I promise, okay. Carl, such a sweet boy. You'll be good, you kids. Right. Good. Oh, I know. Okay. Here. 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 Honey, honey. Hi. So don't answer the door if you don't know who it Hi. is, and don't tell anybody we're out of town. I Do you have all the numbers written down? I've got everything. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, bye. Bye, bye. Daddy. Here we go. <laughs> bye. Goodbye, uh, goodbye, bye, Mr. Mom. Nelson. Bye. Dick, I think I left the iron plug in. I hope not. It's on the roof. Dick, let's try and have fun this weekend, okay? <sighs> Marsh, I don't want to have fun. I don't want to go dancing. I don't want to eat any crazy food. I don't want to run around. I want to sit in one place and relax, okay? Okay. Look, Dick, it's the old Ojai Highway. We always wanted to try that. Look, we're not taking any rinky-dink little back road. Oh, come on. You might enjoy it. End of discussion. No, 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 no. End of discussion. Now, isn't this better than the 101? Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> We are ready, Lord Todd. Excellent, General. Activate the Magno
Are we dead? Uh, uh, I don't think so. Doing to us here, Marge? Me? Yeah. Pilot! I think the radio was talking to us. That is correct, Marge Nelson. Jeez, I thought it was Larry King. I am the Emperor Todd Spengo. Consider yourselves fortunate to be entering into my domain, because soon your puny little planet will cease to exist. Until we meet again, Earthlings, enjoy the ride! <laughs> Look, it's Saturn. Oh, this is fabulous. This is so exciting. I can't believe this. Saturn. Marge, what are you doing? Dick, why are you being so unpleasant? Marge, we're billions of miles from Earth. We've got a quarter of a tank of gas. I don't know how we're doing on oil. Look, we're here now. We might as well make the best of it. All right, honey? Oh, for crying out loud. I mean, do you have any pictures of Saturn? No, I, I don't actually have. You have the right to stop. Oh, I'm fine. I'm using the flash. The flash? Mm -hmm. Marge, it's outer space. Have you ever taken any pictures in outer space before, Dick? No. Oh, oh that's great. Gosh, Marge. All right, honey, now scoot over a little. What? No, I, I want to get one of you in Saturn. No, Marge, don't take my picture. Don't take... Oh, oh. oh, Marge, oh, Marge. Todd's love for you is... Marge, Barge. Large, large, large. What kind of? Oh, large. Oh, large. Oh, Marge, oh, Marge. Todd's love for you is large. Large. What? The Earth woman has exited her solar system and is approaching our planet. Excellent, General. Prepare her for our introduction. Dress her as would befit my queen. And the male sire. You know what to do with him. But surely this will upset the female. No woman can resist my seductive powers. One minute with the great Todd Spengo, and she will forget she was even married. Poor fool will be no match for me. Go, go and bring him to me. Yes, sir. Fear! On a scale of one to ten, in terms of universe dominating greatness, mm -hmm. where would you place, say, oh, me? A ten, sire. Most definitely. A ten? Hmm. Oh, yes, of course, a ten. What else would you think? A six? Now leave me alone. I must prepare for her arrival. Yes, sire. Welcome, my love, and my enemy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, 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 I got one of these. I can get it out with a little pickering. Oh, God. Dick, look, a tiny little planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, Marge. You don't know what they're going to do to us. Cost me a fortune to fix. Pull up the window. 
Throw up the window, quick! Hmm? Stay here. What are you gonna tell them? I don't know. Take me to your leader, I guess. Hi. Dick Nelson, Woodland Hills, California. So, uh, quite a nifty little setup you got for yourselves here. Uh, no, no, sorry. She stays in the car. Oh, my. <laughs> Hi. I'm Marge Nelson, Dick, Dick's wife. Very nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> we're, we're really enjoying your planet very much. Hey! Oh, jeez, way back. Ow! What do you people got with us? You've been invited here by the Emperor Todd Spingle. Well, we, we really appreciate that very much, but why? Our great Emperor desires your presence at his wedding. Well, Dick, this obviously means a lot to this Todd fellow. Marge, no. End of discussion. You might really like it. Remember how much you loved that wedding in Mission Viejo that we went to? It was different. We were guests of the Zimmermans, and the... Well, honey, you were guests of an emperor. Uh, the Zimmermans were human beings from the planet Earth. End of discussion. Dick, don't you think just maybe you're a little bit grouchy from the trip? Oh, great. No, I'm Mr. Grouchy from the trip. Mr. Fly a billion miles to God knows... Excuse me, could you take our picture? Would you mind? Dick, Dick, in a hurry. Quinn, come over here. Excuse me. Would you mind getting a picture? Because I'm over there, standing there, pressing the buttons, wearing a little Mark, 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 Okay, fine, fine. It's a wedding. I'm telling you, though. Well, your chambers have been prepared. There you can refresh yourself before you meet the Emperor. Your servants will show you to your chambers. Hold on a second here. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, aren't you sweet? Wait, 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 wait. Have a nice time. Bye, Dick. Marge? Where are we going here, guys? Off of me. I'm a guest here, you know. Right. Ow! Right. Who's your supervisor? Oh, okay. I'm a United States citizen. Is that? What the heck is that? Ah! Ah! Jeez, that's a big mother. Jeez, that's a big mother. Come on, shoot. Get out of here. Come on, shoot. Get out of here. Hey. You touch my wife and you're dead. Oh, coffee's ready. You're gonna like coffee. coffee? <laughs> oh, that's our daughter Stephanie. And that's her little boyfriend, Carl. That one's our son Alan. He's um kind of going through a phase right now. <laughs> oh, and that's my husband. That's Dick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alan is really a very good boy. He's just he's at a difficult age, but um, we love him very much. <laughs> What are these, your pets? <laughs> oh, I see. It's your your family. Oh, and uh, oh, these must be your children. They're adorable. Just adorable. Oh, oh. Glad. Glad. This is your husband? Oh, I, I see. You're separated. You're, um, you're not getting along right now, is that it? Mm -hmm. Well... Perhaps you're not communicating. Maybe I should have a little talk with him, huh? <laughs> All right, then, that's what I'll do. 
More coffee? Yeah, fine. Paul! Paul! Um, Anne! Tyler! Tyler! Okay, that's good. She is on her way to the throne room, Great One. Excellent, Afir. Prepare the course and I'll be right there. Yes, sire. A general? Sire. How was? Oh, boy. You look smashy. Yes, I do. I do, don't I? Well, I'll join you presently. Now get out! Oh, Mother. If only you could be here. <laughs> Don't! No! No, please! Not the mind milk machine again! It sucks your brains out. It takes your thoughts and messes your brain. And... Who are you? Uh, Dick Nelson from Earth. Earth? Oh, yes. I am Raph. What did I just say? I am Raph. No, I am Raph. You are Earth Dick. Listen, Earth Dick. I have information vital to the future of your planet and my own. Am I speaking now? Yes, you are. Good. Signal me when I stop. You've stopped. Oh, it's all because of Spengo. Uh, I was king of this planet when he seized power. He stole my ideas and misused them to build his... Uh, his, his, um, oh, um, his, um, oh, his, uh, Telescope. no, 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 his, mm, his, uh, mm, mm, fishing ball. No, 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 his, uh, uh, beach ball. No, his death ray. Death ray? I just said that. Now then, Earth Dick, this is very important. Open my pants. Quickly, it's urgent. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I haven't been in prison long enough for this. No, 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 no. There is information vital to our course in my pants. Now, open my pants, take the information, and escape. <laughs> escape? <laughs> How am I supposed to escape? <laughs> No idea. But you uh, you will think of something. After all, this is a planet of idiots. I mean, look at me. I'm the most intelligent one here, and I'm an idiot. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just save it. I'll hang on. You must take this to my son, Cirque the... Cirque the... Suck the uh, leader, mm -mm, mm -mm. general. No, the white bird. Oh, ah, the white bird, of course, right. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, just at the wrong moment, mm -hmm. I shall pass out. White bird, sure, yeah, well, great, terrific. Greetings, 
Elton. I am Todd the Destroyer, ruler of all that you see. Impressed? Oh, yes. You have a, an absolutely adorable little planet here. <laughs> oh, you think my planet is little? Oh, yes. It's just tiny. <laughs> I'll have you know, Marge Nelson, it's not the size of your planet, it's how you use it. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you do that again? I think I had the distance wrong. Oh, oh thank you. Now, what was it you were saying about your little planet? Don't you get it? I'm the emperor. I rule here. Oh. Todd, are you insecure? <laughs> or me? Insecure? <laughs> if I were insecure, why would I speak so loudly, hmm? How about now, dear Marge? What do you think of me now? Uh, Mr. Spingo, where's Dick? Oh, why do you care about him? Does he have a planet named after him? Is his name Dick Earth? Mr. Spingo, where is my husband? What's going on here? What are you doing? Marry me, Marge, and become the queen of Spengo. Marry you, Todd? I can't marry you. I'm already married. So? Wouldn't you rather be a queen? Todd, where is my husband? He is in the dungeon, <gasps> where he will rot, <gasps> as his planet is destroyed before him. That is correct. First thing tomorrow morning, I shall blow up Earth, thereby making Spengo the most powerful planet in the universe. Mr. Spengo, I demand that you take me to my husband immediately! Ah! I will make you mine, Marge Nelson. You will love me. Never. I'll never love you. I love my husband. Oh, fine. You know, fine. I will release him. I'll take him to the laboratory and milk his mind. I'll find out what's in it that could possibly warrant your love for him. Take her away! No! Don't ah! you leave my husband alone! Second, you you are um uh Blatt, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I saw your picture. Your your um your bois husband. Mm -hmm. Um mm, would you like a granola bar? Ooh. Granola? Granola? <laughs> My back, my back is killing me. This bingo idiot is laughing at me. I'd like to punch him in the mouth. Oh, but if I do, someone would punch me in the mouth. That's right. Huh, what's that in my mouth? There's a piece of granola in my teeth. Oh, Marge gave me granola in the car. Marge, Marge in trouble? Marge, Marge dead? I knew we should have stayed on the 101. I tried to tell her. She wouldn't listen to me. Nobody does. Not even my son. Even your own kid thinks you're the jet. Oh, my God. I left the fireplace on. All of our things. All those mementos of 20 years. Those photos of, of Marge. What the heck is he talking Marge. about? Oh, she's looking for me. She's worried sick. Oh, Marge. Marge. Oh, all right. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. You idiot, it's me. Oh, forget it. Wake up. Wake up. March Nelson was at the heart of an angel, because only an angel could love such a pathetic weakling like yourself. What have you done with her? 
What have you done with my wife? Execute him. You touch my wife, I'll rip off your pointy little head, you pipsqueak. You hear me? Ha! Huh? Come on! I'll murder you! You think I'm a weakling? I used to play football! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, it's tough having to be masculine all the time, isn't it? You know, sometimes my husband, he digs his heels into something so much that he just finds it very difficult to admit that he's wrong. Oh, what you need is a nice little hug, isn't it? Mm. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. There. Now, wouldn't you feel a lot better if you went and had a nice talk with Bois? told her that you believed in her uh -huh. and that you loved her uh -huh. and she should tell you the same thing too uh -huh. don't you think you should go talk to her now <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> Hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. It takes as big as out. No! I mean, losing one's love. It's pain. But we have to go on. Just as I have to go on now. This is my duty. Oh. But, but, but I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. No! You have to escape. You have to get out of here. Here! You can take my uniform. You can disguise yourself as a destroyer! Here, take my helmet. Why are you doing this? You may not realize it, Earthman, but the love you feel for your woman is eternal and beautiful. Anyone who is loved this way knows. I, too, once had a true love, but I lost her a long, long time ago. Now, this will not happen to you, Earthman. Quickly, go! Hurry up! Uniform's too small, mister. Uh, uh, I've ordered a new one. What's your name? Zorg. Where are you going? Patrol. Which region? North. Okay, go ahead. That guy Raph was right. These people are idiots. Oh, 
Prepare for our wedding first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, sire. If you will not marry me by choice, Earth Woman, you will marry me by force. Take her away! No! No! Sorry, what, Marge? Oh! No, you look beautiful. No, you look beautiful. What? You think I'd look better with a beard? All right. Here's one you'll love. Good exercise. Close your eyes. One, two. us to the desert for killing our noble father King Raph for these That's... crimes against our planet destroyer I'm afraid you must die Wait. uh uh your cirque how do you know my name uh, uh I was a prisoner with your father we shared a cell together our father is alive yeah yeah uh he, he even gave me something to give to you where uh Open my pants. He does know father. Ever 
ever since Fengo's rule began, my sister and I and all my people have been hunted by the destroyers. That is why, when we travel, we wear these masks to disguise ourselves as birds. Uh, uh, excuse me. You really have birds this size on your planet? No. Then why would it fool anyone when you wear the masks? You are a wise man, Dick Nelson. Take off the herb, ask me. No one has ever escaped from the Dark Fortress alive. You must be a very brave man. Yeah, well, I need to get back in there as soon as possible. Is there any way you can help me? For years we have been trying, but Spengo has many weapons. We are armed only with our intelligence. That's too bad. Yes, we are not a smart people. But what we lack in brains, we make up for in good intentions. Yeah! Maybe this will help us to get him. It is a detailed description of Spengo's fortress. Wait, wait! It is a detailed description of Father's cell. We're defeated. Defeated? What are you talking about? My wife's in there. Your father's in there. You can't just give up. So, you're idiots. Who cares? They're idiots, too. Just because you're stupid doesn't mean you can't rule a planet. Hey, come to Earth sometime. Don't give up. Never give up. What, what would have happened if Washington had given up at Valley Forge? What, what if Roosevelt had given up at San Juan Hill? What if Namib had given up at the ice moon of Nomolos? Yeah. So in the tradition of Washington, Roosevelt, and Namib, let's do it! Yeah. Wait a minute. No! Remember Washington at San Juan Hill? Wait a minute! Wait! Wait! My people! Wait for me! Um, sir, don't you think we ought to repair or something? Dick Nelson, you are a gift from heaven. My people! Tomorrow we go in! Go in and set things right! And now, Earth, farewell! Oh, I'm sick of target practice. Can't wait to blow up the real thing. Yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Tomorrow, Earth, it will all be over. And there's no one who can stop me! Your plans are brilliant, Earthman. Wow, well, I just noodled a few things down. Come. My people are anxious to show you their progress. Carry on. <laughs> Look. These are weapons we have stolen from the destroyers. Have you ever seen one of these? Looks like a grenade. It's a light grenade. Pull the pin, set it down. Whoever picks it up, <laughs> grenade remains, person disappears. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Who'd pick it up? Look. Pick me up. Diabolical, isn't it? This is one of our weapons. This is a rock. Exactly. What you do is raise your arm like so, then boom, you throw it. Right. Got it. Come. We have prepared a pre-battle feast, Great Dick.
We have prepared our planet's greatest delicacy. Hot spiced love love in heavy grease. I, uh... The leader must have the first bite. Oh, what the heck. is getting dressed, Lord Todd. Well, give her the love potion. I'll be right there. Hey, you. What do you think? Which do you like better? Mutton chops or goatee? Um... Be honest. <laughs> Mutton chops, my lord? No. No, I like the goatee better. Shoot yourself in the head. Now. Well, how about you? Mutton chops! Planet of idiots. You know, they got a point. Leave, all of you, now! <laughs> you monster, you horrible man! I will not be silent! I, I said silent! You silent. Listen to me and do as I say. Your <laughs> life may depend on it. Spangle thinks this is love potion, but I've replaced it with water. When injected, you must act as though you're in love with him. Oh. After the wedding, I'll search the desert for your husband. My husband's dead, thank Silence! you! Silence! I have reason to believe he ejected from his ship. You mean he's alive? Perhaps. And if he is, he is the only person who can save this planet from Spingo's misguided tyranny. Misguided? Before I came to power, was there a fortress? Was was there a bagno beam? Was there a death ray? No. This planet was nothing. It was a cosmic zero. And now, starting tomorrow, we will rule the universe. You. You will become my queen. I'll never love you, you creep. Yes, you will. Death 
is too good for a traitor. After the wedding, we will take you to the command center. And we will insert you into the death ray. We will watch you die as we watch Earth die. So, what do you think of me now, a fear? I think you're a small, pathetic, insignificant little cretin. Oh, really? Well, what do you think of me now? Uh, uh, I love you. Marry me. Nope, sorry, marrying Marge. Take him away. Hey, you, you traitor. 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 Oh, Todd, you're such a brave man. When can we go away together? Shortly, my love. Oh. <laughs> the second we are wed, we'll board my private rocket. And I'll... We I'll whisk you away to my private moon, little Dodd. And there, we will enjoy conjugal bliss as we watch our next planet being destroyed. Until then. You're welcome. Pinhead. Send a platoon into the desert. Find the Earth deck and execute him at once. Yes, Lord Todd. That's, uh, good. That's good. <sighs> Let's hope these people are extremely stupid. I'm sleeping. Captain, look. <laughs> Move out! Yeah! Oh, my God. Captain! The Earthman has a light grenade for a head! What? Look! He has a light grenade! Ah! <laughs> Idiot! Careful, men! There's a light grenade on the ground! Where? Where? Show, show us! Sir. Right here! <laughs> Faster, faster, move it, move it, move it, move it. 
Watch out, huge rock. Watch out, big rock, big rock. rock. Big rock. Big rock. Oh, oh. Oh. Pick me up. I think we're going to need some reinforcements out here. Today, Marsh Nelson becomes Marsh Spangle, and all across the planet, I'll have to do the tango. Dear friends, today our bold and noble emperor, Todd, is to be wed. All right, I'll hurry it up, hurry it up. And in conclusion, do you, Todd Spengo, take Marge Nelson to be your lawfully wedded wife? Of course I do, fool. And do you, Marge Nelson, take Todd Spengo to be your lawfully wedded husband? Uh, well, um, I, uh... I, I, I... Well, see who it is! What are you doing? Don't you know it's the Emperor's wedding day? Sorry to bother you, but... Giant statue! There's a statue at the front gate, Lord Todd. What kind of statue? A statue of you, Lord Todd. Oh. Excuse me, my dear. trick this statue doesn't look anything like me i mean i i, I don't have that much fatter on my face well do i mm -mm. well then what did you bring me out here for mm -hmm. now don't just stand there bring it in bring it in let everyone see how much it doesn't look like me Hello? It's like a hundred times more handsome than that. Now, like a thousand times more handsome. I mean, do I look like this? Oh, no, Lord Todd. I'll carry on, you fool. Come on. Okay, is the trap door ready? Yes, it has been sealed firmly shut, Great Dick. Sealed? Drade has sealed it so that no man may open it. I'm like a million times more handsome than that. What are you doing in my head? That's my woman! Kill him! 
100 spingo seconds march, Nelson. Your planet will be no more. And as for you, Afir, goodbye. Too bad our friendship has to end with a laser through your belly!
by Dick Nelson. Oh, Todd! Marge? This time you messed with the wrong earth man. Fine. You invite people to your planet, and this is how they treat you. <gasps> stay with us, good Dick and Marge. Yes, stay with us, please. Oh, we really have to go now. Yeah, I have to work tomorrow. I have reversed the polarity on the Magno Beam. It should return you safely and in haste. I just said, I have reversed the polarity on the magno beam. It should return you safely and in haste. <laughs> Therefore, you may go. Good Dick and Marge, you have saved our world as well as your own. Forever. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. <clears throat> Thank you. And I'll never make that tuna casserole again. Bye. Bye, Mary Jean. We're gonna go. Bye. Bye, Bye all. Happy anniversary, Dick. Happy anniversary, Dick. Oh, hang on, Margie. Well, it turned out to be a pretty nice trip after all, didn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it would. The old Ohio Highway. Well, I guess you were right about that flash, Margie. Oh, look, it's that nice young Vlad. There's the girls. Remind me, I, I promised I'd write them when I got back. This is Santa Barbara? Oh, yeah. And a bit north. Genius.
To our trip. To our anniversary. To the future. Oh, Dick, we really shouldn't. <gasps> oh! 